Hello. Okay. Welcome to my first Halloween special on the channel and the horror movie that I've chosen for this special is the very first Terrifier movie directed by Damian Leone. I only watched this movie for the first time two weeks ago. I'd rem I remembered it being released but I never got around to checking it out and with Terrifier 3 hitting in the theatres I thought let's give it a go, let's check it out, let's see what all the fuss is about. The movie was first released way back in 2016 at the Telluride Horror Film Festival that it had a limited theatrical release in 2018 and I've always been attracted to this movie and just well all three movies really due to that strong emphasis on practical effects as well as that kind of low budget gritty grind out approach to crafting these movies to me that's just music to my ears when it comes to crafting horror movies because I, f I do feel like that's what's missing in a lot of horror movies today and in recent years. So the plot of Terrifier centres on party goer Tara Hayes and her sister Victoria who become targets of the serial killer known only as Art the Clown on Halloween night. So I want to start off with saying I think they did a wonderful job at sort of capturing the look of those sort of VHS, low budget, grindhouse horror movies from the 70s, the 80s, even the 90s. And it just has that kind of very, kind of very low budget retro horror look to it that kind of really helps add to the uneasiness and the effectiveness of the horror within this movie. I mean, this film, while watching it, I felt dirty. And I do feel like it's something that horror movies today are severely missing. And the look, the feel and atmosphere of this movie, that sort of really dark, dirty, gritty, grindhouse uh, feel is beautifully brought to life through many different elements in how this movie was constructed. One of those being, and one of the you know, most surprising elements, is the fact that this movie was shot on digital. And a minor gripe from me, I can, you know, you can sense that this film was shot on digital, but they do a wonderful job at the same time in kind of really capturing sort of the grittiness and the dirtiness of sort of those the way horror movies used to feel when you would watch them on VHS as a kid growing up and even though I can still sense that kind of the digital sort of nature of how this film was shot I still felt like they just done a wonderful job at immersing me into what is a very filthy and dirty world in which these characters are within in which the horror is sort of coming to life you know it felt like you could smell it for example sort of the, the filth and so you could just sort of sense the dread and it made you feel uneasy as well and it's all brought to life like i said through many elements and um, but one of those being how this movie looks through the cinematography and when i say minor gripe in regards to the digital nature in how this movie is shot the reason why i say it's a minor gripe obviously because i can still sense that digital nature to it but i just I found myself sort of really thinking while watching this movie how beautiful this film would look on VHS. And for me personally I just feel like movies like this belong on that format and they are at the most effective on that format which is film. But I still think they do a wonderful job here at capturing the essence of those horror movies that Damien Leone is clearly inspired by and has a massive passion for. They achieve that kind of very gritty, filthy, gut-wrenching sensation that you would experience from those horror movies, those very kind of low-budget, grind-out horror movies that went straight to VHS. They achieve that and it is wonderful, it's beautiful. And I just loved, I adored that aspect of this movie and like i said like i previously said it's also brought to life it's also elevated by many other aspects or elements in how this movie was constructed the lighting for example i adored the lighting throughout this movie which again helps sort of kind of give that give the experience that kind of very real dirty 
filthy sensation about it and feel about it. And I also loved how the camera was used throughout this movie. It sort of really helped heighten the horror, the tension and the suspense in many moments. And it's because through how they utilise the camera, they do a fantastic job, for me anyway, at sort of really immersing me into this very filthy, dirty environment. Like, for example, you'd have a couple of these moments where the camera would just fixate on the environment in which our character is within. And the camera would do this sort of 180 pan of the setting, allowing us to really absorb where this character is is you know the setting that she's within and i just really admired that aspect of this movie it reminded me an awful lot of alien with how the camera would sort of pan through the corridors so you just get these moments where you're really taking in the setting and sort of sort of you know it's a good way of sort of really establishing sort of this eerie creepy atmosphere of the horror and I just I adore that aspect of how they use the camera within this movie but you don't get you don't get horror movies really today as well that do that where they allow you to really sort of get that kind of get us a real sense and feeling of the sort of environment of where this character is at or within because it does help heighten the horror due to it just feeling a little bit more real you know, just something that you can kind of touch, smell and feel. Just how they focus on the setting and on the set design within this movie just sort of really helps add to that uneasiness and the grittiness of the experience. And next I want to touch on what is one of the standout moments for me and not just because it is fucking horrific and brutal but because it shows how many of those elements that I've just mentioned come together to create what is a very effective moment and it's the moment with the saw where you've got one of the the characters hanging upside down and you've got art the clown cutting her in half and this very brutal moment is not just very effective because you've got a man dressed up as a very creepy clown cutting a woman in half with a rusted saw but it's because of all these different elements that come together to bring this moment to life from the lighting, the cinematography, the set design, how the camera would be used, to the editing where they would just cut away just at the right moment, allowing your imagination in those brief moments to really kick in. And you know what? Nothing's more worse than your own imagination and just the wonderful use of practical effects. You know, nothing is more effective in horror than the use of practical effects. And for me, this entire experience was really a showcase, to be honest with you. A, a sort of, just really kind of showcase how effective practical effects are within horror. And I just feel like all those other pieces of the puzzle when it comes to crafting these moments and how they come together was done in a very smart way. So really kind of stop it from losing that kind of character and sort of that they're aiming for when it comes to the type of horror movie that Damien Leone is attempting to make here. Because I could, I felt like there are moments where it could have easily have fallen into torture porn territory or just sort of really kind of just over the top glorifying sort of the violence. And I just feel like through the editing and just how the camera would be used sort of kind of really stopped it from sort of falling into that territory. And these moments are beautifully sort of reflected within the score by a Paul Wiley. Um, I feel like the music within this movie kind of really accompanied these moments in a way that kind of aided sort of what it is that we are experiencing sort of emotionally. So how this movie sort of evokes those emotions from what you see in the music really does a great job at conveying that. Like for this, for example, this moment with the saw, it sort of really once you know what's about to happen, sort of at the you know and the adrenaline kicks in. The music, the score accompanies that feeling beautifully and so as a result kind of really sort of heightening um, the horror and what it is that's going on within the frame. So yeah, for me Terrifier was almost like 85 minutes on how to create or a showcase on how to create effective, gross, 
B-movie grindhouse disturbing horror. And I absolutely adored it for that. Because you could sense the passion and the love there for that type of horror. And it comes to life in a way that, yeah, it's very disturbing, it's unnerving, and it's creepy. And it's definitely one of those movies that I would love to experience on VHS. And I know it's one of those movies that would have scared the fucking life out of me as a, as a, as a kid. But I would have loved it as well as a result of that. But... What lets this movie down for me massively, and this is something that the writer and director Damien Leone has admitted himself and does regret, and that is the characters that we are supposed to care about, our protagonists. They're just very one-dimensional. I couldn't care about them, and a lot of that is down to the writing and how they are written into this story, so that they are involvement within this story. I just, it lacks any weight or depth. So as a result, yes, you've got an experience where you have these very effective moments of tension, suspense and horror and are disturbing. But at the same time, it kind of lacks a purpose for this to exist other than it being an 85 minute showcase of creating very effective moments of horror and as a result was a little bit of a frustrating one for me especially because I actually found myself starting to warm towards one of our main characters Tara she's played by a Jenna Cannell and there was just something about how she was bringing this character to life I just found myself really kind of starting to really sort of emotionally care for her and a lot of it it wasn't because of the writing but it's because of how this particular actress was bringing this character to life and then they kill her off which is a proper gut punch because it was the only character that I was really sort of starting to care for and then I was sort of hoping for something when it came to the involvement of his sister but like I said they just it ended up feeling like they were just there so Damien Leone could just have an excuse to really sort of show off when it comes to sort of creating like I said very effective moments of blood, gore and horror and he achieves that and I really do adore that aspect of this movie. But unfortunately for this to have been a truly effective experience, I really needed to feel something for these characters. There needed to be, there, there needed to be something there behind these characters for me to really get emotionally wrapped up into this horror. And, and unfortunately, it's just not there. And like I said, this is something that the, the director and writer himself has admitted. But at the same time, I just couldn't help but admire the other aspects when it comes to bringing this horror to life. But it just also ended up being a very frustrating one for me because other than having a character where I started to care for, get brutally killed off, it just really kind of lacked that kind of sort of the soul you could say and sort of that human element of the story for it to really give this experience a purpose for me to really get emotionally behind it in fact i felt like damian leone was sort of like you know he led us on to believe that tara was going to be a sort of our main protagonist who was going to survive this and so when we get a death it is shocking but it just ends up feeling at the same time, even though I'm frustrated because it was a character that I was warming towards, it just ends up feeling like a moment that was just there to create shock. And sort of just adds then to sort of this overall experience feeling or lacking really that kind of reason to exist other than it being, you know, a showcase on what Damien Leone is really good at doing, which is sort of, when it, you know, when it comes to the special effects side of things and sort of just creating practical effects and sort of instilling that kind of the grittiness and sort of the realism into a horror that is very effective but you really need that human element to work and do you know what all of this is fine to a degree because it kind of depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for an experience that is gross and disturbing with very effective moments of horror 
then this is your movie. I didn't hate this film. I didn't hate this experience. I had a very good time with it. I really enjoyed it, in fact, because I adored the movie from a technical perspective and what it was they were achieving at sort of really immersing us into what is a very gritty, disturbing story. And it's achieving a lot that horror movies really struggle to achieve these days. And it's just achieved so much that horror movies today are severely lacking and missing. And fortunately, it's just that human element or lack of that results in what is a very shocking, gross, disturbing experience, but lacking any soul or weight or depth for us to really get emotionally sucked in and for it to be really a sort of a an unnerving experience that does truly get under the skin. It's frust you know, it's frustrating because it gets so much right that horror movies are missing today and then just misses that one key thing, that one key aspect, which is the characters, it's the protagonists, the you know the people that we are supposed to care about that we are supposed to be rooting for but hey i've got another two terrifier movies to go and i'm gonna squeeze those in just in time for halloween but yeah they are my thoughts on terrifier and i will be giving terrifier a six out of ten <laughs> So yeah, they are my thoughts on Terrifier, but what do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you agree or disagree with anything I've said? Then please let me know in the comments below and let's get a discussion going. And if you've made it this far into the video, then thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to watch future movie reviews from just some random Welsh geek rambling on, then please hit the subscribe button. It will mean an awful lot to me. My next movie review will be for Venom, The Last Dance, which was released this weekend. I am a little bit behind. I've had a bit of a busy weekend, but Venom, The Last Dance will be my next movie review, along with Terrifier 2 and 3 to continue you my Halloween special specials just in time for Halloween that's what I got come in and just a, a, another big thank you to all of those that have interacted with the channel whatever it be liking disliking commenting subscribing it means an awful lot I've just got hit over 400 subscribers and it will always overwhelm me that so many of you do want to follow just some random Welsh geek Rambling, rambling on about film and TV. It means the world. I absolutely love doing this. I am hoping to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do it, but that's my goal that I've set myself. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it from me. Enough rambling on from me. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys soon.